Hello and welcome to the demonstration of an iPad application written to showcase the potential of doing mobile sales with SAP for configurable products. The application is called Configure Mobile Sales and it runs on an iPad. When we start it up, the first task that it does is connecting to SAP to retrieve the sales. The log can be organized in categories or layout areas, so we have bicycles, pumps, utilities, phones, etc. On the right-hand side of the screen, we have the shopping cart, which is currently empty. We can add a new product by clicking on the plus sign. In this case, I have added a web phone. Configuration of the web phone then happens by clicking on the configuration icon. At this moment, we're launching the SAP Internet Pricing and Configuration Engine, which provides to us all of the configuration rules and also all of the pricing. Several characteristics are presented. This is a very simple model. If we look at the screen characteristic, for example, the values are shown in a popover, including any associated images. These images are usually loaded in the SAP document management system, which is the case here. So if I select one, I can then proceed with making more selections. And in order to demonstrate that there are effectively rules being triggered behind the scenes, and uh, validating whether the user input is valid. Let's use the following example. On the web phone option selection, we have several different accessories and options we can use. One of them is voicemail. However, voicemail makes possible another option, which is not available in the standard, which is a memory upgrade. And if you notice, uh, we have not anywhere in the listing of options the memory upgrade available. If I go ahead and select voicemail, uh, the memory upgrade appears between the antenna and the self-cleaning pad. So this is an example of a triggering rule of dynamic hiding, making options available based on what the user selected. Another example of a configuration rule would be a configuration inconsistency rule. So for example, if I do select the memory upgrade and uh, for some reason I do not require web phone installation, there is a rule set up in this model which says that whenever memory upgrade is selected, a special installation service must be selected also. However, this rule hasn't been written fully, so uh, it still allows the user to go ahead and select no for the web phone installation for the purpose of just demonstrating the inconsistency. If I go ahead and select no, at this point I will get a red color highlight of the characteristics that are, that are conflicting, so my web phone installation and the web phone options characteristics are conflicting, and I can now solve the conflict by removing my last selection, for example. When I am done and uh, complete with this configuration, clicking on the Done button will then insert it in, into my shopping cart. Even more complex configurations can be, uh, can be used, including nested products. Uh, for this, we have an example of a utility contract. I will add it to the shopping cart and then click on the Configure icon. At this moment, the nested model is being presented with multiple levels. At the very top, we have the utility contract, which can include several products, such as electricity contract, gas contract, and others. This is driven by the selection in the products characteristic. And so, uh, as you can see, at the beginning of the configuration, at least one contract has been already selected, which is the electricity contract, which in itself is a configurable product in its own right. We can navigate it and its characteristic by going through the tree on the left-hand side. For example, we can capture the annual consumption, we can provide additional information. Uh, assuming that this is all I needed to configure, at this point I can email the results to me or to a colleague of mine. It will include the configured products and their product numbers in SAP. Or I can check out and review uh, my quotation, or in this case, potentially a sales order, with these items. So you can see we have the 940 web phone, the utility contract on, on the quote. And I could submit that by clicking on the Submit button. 